Welcome to another Midweek Mentor. We're so glad you're watching and we hope that you are blessed uh, by tuning in and listening this week. Today, I just want to talk very simply about how to be a Jesus follower every day and what that looks like kind of in everyday life because I think sometimes we can overcomplicate things. Um, my, hus- my name is Tiffany and my husband Elliot and I have the great privilege of being able to pastor Lifeline Church and our mission at Lifeline Church is to be a lifeline and we do that by leading people into becoming lifelong followers of Jesus or lifelong Jesus followers. Uh, and so today I just kind of want to talk about there's two things that have been on my heart this season or this kind this kind of whole year really and it's um there are two words and it's humility and repentance um because i think everything we do in life should come back to a place of humility and repentance at least as jesus followers uh because that's really how we began our relationship with the father that's really how we entered into christianity that's how we entered into Uh, the promises and the provision and everything that God has for us is through an attitude of humility and repentance. It was in humility when we humbled ourselves, if you're a Jesus follower, um, where we said, you know what, I'm, I don't have this all together. I'm, I'm, I'm not the king of the world or I'm not the the queen of the universe. (laughs) I don't have it all together. Uh, or even, even if that, that wasn't, you know, your attitude when you came to Christ, Um, Mine wasn't, that wasn't my attitude. It wasn't that I had everything together, but it was that I wanted more. Um, I I want more. And when I encountered um, the Lord, when I encountered God, it was like, yeah, I I don't have everything that I want. And I don't mean stuff, physically tangible, but um, internally there there was more. And so it was a place of humility where there there was a humbleness in my heart that was open to receive something more. And then repentance. Repentance was acknowledging and is acknowledging um, that I haven't done it right. And so it's, it's um, turning, it's making a decision to turn around and walk in the other direction. Uh, and so it was in, you know, in humility and repentance, those combined actions opened the door for us to have relationship with Jesus when we operate in those things. So if you're a Christ follower, um, that should be a daily attitude that we operate in and it's a humility and repentance and um just the other week i have a routine normally of where i wake up in the morning and i get my coffee and then after i get my coffee i grab my bible and i grab, i call it my bible book because i have littles uh, and we read our bible books uh, so i grab my bible book and i grab my journal and i don't always write in my journal but i bring it with me just in case you know something pops out i, I go through phases where you know i just want to encourage you i, I go through phases where Sometimes I journal all the time and then sometimes I don't because I kind of get into, if you're anything like me, I get into routines where I feel like I have to do something and if I have to do something, I'm just checking off the list. And if I'm just checking it off the list and I'm not really um, entering into a relationship with the Lord and I'm not like letting Him speak to me and it's not, it's not, a, it's no longer a time of rest. It's no longer a time of peace. It's no longer a time of where I'm, I'm just able to sit with the Lord because I feel pressure to write something. Uh, and so I go through long periods where I don't write anything. I don't pressure myself to write anything. And then other times I'm like, okay, now I'm just reading <laughs> to, to read, but I really want to engage with the scripture. And so there's this ebb and flow, at least with me, of um, how I engage with the scripture and my time with Jesus in the morning. Um, but the other day I um, grabbed my, my Bible book and I grabbed my journal and I normally start with reading. You know, I look up, I'm going through the Solid Life Bible reading plan. I go through that every year because I love to just read through the Bible every year. Uh, and it's the easiest one to follow. And um, so I was, I was op- normally I open up that and then I, um, you know, start reading. But um, I didn't that day. It was like I wanted, I wanted something more. I wanted something different. And so Um, instead of starting with reading, I kind of just sat there and I was considering, you know, those two, those two words have kind of been resonating in my brain all year long is having an attitude of humility and and an attitude of repentance and walking in those two things, not just with Jesus, but with people and every relationship in every area and every circumstance, having an attitude of humility and, and repentance. And so humbling myself in every conversation, not that I'm perfect at it, but that's what the Lord is kind of ministering to me about. Um, and then having an attitude of repentance. When I recognize that someone else is right or I'm in the wrong, 
just very quickly acknowledging it and saying, you know what? You're right. I was wrong. Or, you know what? I, yeah, you're, I, can, I can be better at that. Or I, I can do better at that. Um, please forgive me. Uh, and just that that opens up so many doors and that's that's the the one door that opened up our relationship with Jesus and so when we continue in our relationship with God the Father it's a continual attitude of repentance and humility and so I opened up and um, so instead of reading that day I decided to write and what I what I wrote was I'll just go ahead and and read it to you um, I just opened up with saying you are good father you are good you are faithful you are just you are kind you are strong, you are mighty to save. You created the heavens and the earth and everything in them. And there's none like you. And you call us out to know you. You call us out to be in relationship with you. And I began to think that there are so many who don't know you. There are so many who know of you, um, but not everyone draws near to you. And then I said about my, my own self, I often know that you're there, but I don't draw near. And I said, forgive me, Lord, I repent. You are my strength. You are my source. Life with you in your presence is always better. So I, you know, I said that day, I draw near to you today, Father. Let me see your glory around me and within me today. And then I began my reading, but it was so powerful. And so I, I want to just take a moment and encourage us because I think we overcomplicate Christianity sometimes where it's, you know, a things, a checklist of things we need to do or a, a right attitude we need to have, a, a perfect person we need to be. And the world might expect that of us and other church people might expect that of us or of you, but that's not what our God expects of us. Our God, who is our Savior, who is our Redeemer, who is our source, he, what He expects is just for us to be in relationship with Him. And so being in relationship with Him, you know, when you wake up and you feel kind of foggy that day, there's not a pressure to go through the motions of the things that you always do in order to be a good Christian. It's you know what, Lord, I feel I feel kind of foggy today and giving yourself freedom to be in relationship with Him, knowing that, that He is holy, He is righteous, He is set apart, there is none like Him, and so He's not our our best friend. There's 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 a reverence there, but there's also an invitation to draw near and just to be a son or to be a daughter um, and to not have uh, the world, you know, whether you're a mom or an employer or, you know, a dad, uh, whatever responsibilities weigh on you, that's not who you are in your father's eyes. That's not meaning Father God. That's not who you are. You are you are a son or you are a daughter. And so that's a safe place where you draw in and you'd be in relationship with Him. Uh, and the best way to experience His presence and the fullness of everything that He wants to do is to come with that attitude of humility and to come with that attitude of repentance, saying, you know what, this is... And, it's as easy as declaring who He is, reminding yourself who He is. Um, you know, this was just as I sat down, I began to remember the scriptures I've read. You know, as I go through the whole Bible every year, I, you know, I come across scriptures from Isaiah or from Psalm or from the Old Testament and from the New Testament that declare who God is. And so in those moments, I just begin to remember what I've read, what, what He has said about Himself. And I agree with those things. I say, this is who you are. And this is who you are even in my life. And so, Father, I acknowledge those things. I acknowledge who you are. And when you do that, it, it increases your faith and it, and it builds something up within you. And say, you know what, I'm, I'm, I'm not alone. And the weight of the world is not on my shoulders. Uh, I'm going to take that off and I'm going to just be your daughter or I'm going to be your son um, in this moment. And so that, that attitude of humility and repentance. And then... Um, there is a scripture, it's out of Isaiah. Um, Isaiah's, <laughs> Isaiah's a long book. <laughs> I just finished it actually in the reading plan. Um, it's, and it's a long book. And, but, so Isaiah is a prophet. He's being spoken, God is speaking to Isaiah, and then Isaiah is speaking to the nation of Israel. And the nation of Israel, while Isaiah is writing, is about to go into exile because they haven't been following the commands of the Lord. They haven't been following the ways of the Lord. 
And so they put themselves under a curse where the Lord says, okay, I'm going to do, I'm going to have to do what I said I would do. I don't want to. I love you. I want you to respond to me. Uh, but because you are not, I will follow through on my word because God is faithful. God is just. God is kind, but he's just. And so he's going to do what he said he's going to do. And so that's kind of what's happening in Isaiah. And in Isaiah chapter 30, verse 15, he says this through the prophet Isaiah to the people. He says, this is what the sovereign Lord, the Holy One of Israel says. In repentance and rest is your salvation. In quietness and trust is your strength. But and then he says, but you would have none of it. And then he goes on to talk about all the ways that the people were trying to defend themselves or to, you know, to be right in their own eyes. Um, and so just as, as a reminder, it says in quietness and rest is your salvation. I'm sorry, in repentance and rest is your salvation. In quietness and trust is your strength. And I think so often when we hit hard things in life, we want to we want to bear down. We want to, you know, gear up and uh, hit things head on. Um, but it's that it's that place of quietness where you just, you know, you get up and whether you journal or you don't journal, but you just remember who God is in your life. That's a place of quietness. That's a place of rest where you're not solving the problem. You're coming to Jesus or you're coming to God the Father and you're remembering who He is. And then He gives you strength. He reminds you of who He is and that He's with you in your life. And so from that place, that place of quietness, that place of, of rest, comes your strength and comes your salvation as in humility uh, and repentance. You allow Him to work in your life and He does things in and through you when you're looking for his presence and believing that his presence is with you um, that you couldn't otherwise do alone and so i hope that you've been encouraged by this i hope that there's been a drop of an encouragement and a, and a know-how um <laughs> a know-how meaning okay now now i know how to to operate in quietness and, and rest and allow the lord to be my strength and my salvation and if it's not something you've done before i highly encourage you to practice that just remembering who god is and declaring that either in writing or out loud and um making that a practice again not something that you have to do but it's a practice it's a tool you have in your tool belt as a christian as a believer uh, to strengthen your relationship. And so, Father, I, I bless the people who have tuned in. I bless the people who have been watching the Midweek Mentor. Uh, whether they're watching it live or they're watching it later, I, I do bless them. I speak health and healing over them, and I ask that you would be present with them. In Jesus' name, amen. Love you guys. Bye.